Hello, hello, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a file so that you can laser engrave a map onto whatever it is you want to laser engrave. Uh, the software we're going to be using, or website I'm going to be using, is called Mapbox. And I set up an account with Mapbox and I'm going to start mapping for free. So, with Mapbox, basically taking um, Google Maps and you're going to adjust a file here so that you can laser engrave it. Uh, there's a bunch of different options. The one I'm just going to go with here, you can pick any one you want, is monochrome. I'm going to choose light. It's like the closest to what we want a laser engraver to produce. Since you know, laser engraver doesn't really do colors. It just does different depths. So with this, um, you can adjust a map. You can go anywhere in the world you want to go. I'm just loads in San Francisco. I'm going to show you San Francisco. All right. And let's say I want to laser engrave this right here. Beautiful, right? Went to San Francisco on vacation. And I want to laser engrave a map of San Francisco. So we could just go right with this, what this default settings are, but you can mess around with this. And I don't want this default settings, particularly uh, the land right now is like a light gray. I don't, I want the laser engraver to just ignore that. So over in the top over here, you can mess with some of these macro level things, but I actually like to just jump right into the layers here and mess with these. So all in the bottom is land. So if I click on land down here, I can override this and I'm going to change land to white. So now look, no land, the laser engraver will just leave it blank. And that's what I want the, for it to do for land. But I want the roads to be darker. I want it to laser engrave road, right? So on the side here, if you look, if I keep scrolling up, roads, here we go. So I'm going to adjust roads. So override, I'm going to make the roads uh, gray like that. And it might look like it didn't change anything because I don't know which one these these type of roads are but if you go in and adjust all of these eventually you will start seeing there you go see how it's starting to adjust the roadways pretty much close to what i want some of these will do the fill inside why don't we just change all of them but you can adjust and change them however you'd like doesn't um matter it's whatever you want the laser engraver to engrave right so eventually it's going to start filling these in keep going with this there you go all right i have all the roads now for the laser engraver if you want to adjust some more things you can for instance, I don't want any of these labels on the, uh, my laser engrave. I just want it to be blank or no labels on it. If you start scrolling up, you start seeing uh, these T's that's showing you the text files. So if I click on that and there's, and there's a little eyeball up here and you can just hide the layer, All right? Uh, I don't want any text things showing. So you can just start turning them off. Eventually you'll get Oh, points of interest is definitely one all those if eventually you'll get to uh, turning them off if you actually want to know which layer is which you want to turn off a specific one if you actually start double clicking it'll show you what layer you're messing with and then you can go find it over on the side here and adjust it the way you'd like to adjust but let's say that is now um the map i want to laser engrave i set it up at san francisco it looks good to me this is what I want to go. So what can I do from here? So from here, you can print this file and you can move this around your screen how you'd like it. I want it to print that. You can adjust the size, say I'm laser engraving on a 12 by uh, 7.1 piece of wood. It's gonna export a PNG. So just click export, prints it out, great. So that file now, how do I get my laser engraver to read it? Whatever you use to laser engrave, you can load it in. Uh, the PNG file, found PhotoP. PhotoP works on Chromebooks and we're in that digital age right now. So in PhotoP, you can just open uh, the file and there's my map. Uh, one thing to notice though with PhotoP is it doesn't necessarily hold that size that we loaded. So if you go up top here to image, image size, I'm gonna change this to inches. Look, it brought it in as a 50 inch object. Change it to 12 or the size that you chose. And there it is, whoopsies. And now here you can add whatever you want. Uh, you want to add a text box right there. And you can 
adjust whatever you want. San Fran, right? I want San Fran on there. And you can go about adjusting what you'd like to laser engrave. All right. That's all I got. Good luck. Have fun.